We recognize that when working with exponential or logarithm functions, we can have many different bases. In fact, we can have an infinite number of different bases. So, drawing out our number line for our bases, and we eliminate the restrictions, that is, b has to be greater than 0, and it can't be 1. And here are the options. This region here, between 0 and 1, is the region of exponential decay. Well, this region, above 1, represents exponential growth, along with their corresponding inverses, or logs. In amongst all those different bases, there are a couple that we should highlight. The first, we call the common base, or the common log, and you've seen it lots. That's the base of 10. So technically, we can say that the log button on your calculator represents a common log. Also, the common base in exponential form is interesting. That is, for every increase in 1 in the x value, the y value increases by 10 times. The second base of particular interest is called the natural base. The natural base, also called Euler's number, is represented by a small e. Like pi, Euler's number is an irrational number. That is, the decimals go on forever. But for many practical purposes, e can be rounded to 2.72. The inverse of the exponential function with a natural base is log base e of x. Same base per normal. But this log base e is given a special way to quickly indicate it. It's often simplified as ln. Now you can think of this as logarithm naturel. Use an accent, make it sound even cooler. Many calculators have a natural log button on them. Just look for the ln. The natural base, or the natural log, is used to represent continuous growth or decay. And we'll look more into examples of natural bases and natural logs in our application questions. For now, I just want you to recognize these particular bases and the special terminology given to them. All the log rules work the exact same for these bases, so nothing really more to remember here. Just be clear on the terminology and what base is being indicated. That's it.